I'm not ashamed to admit that I've got a bit of a soft spot for the Audi TT. The 2 litre turbocharged TTS is a great compromise between performance and economy. Let's call it perf economy. But Audi have finally got off their four sprung Dirk Butniks, grabbed hold of a TT and stuck an RS badge on it. Finally. The business end of the new TT RS hides a 340 horsepower 2.5 litre turbocharged five cylinder engine reminiscent of the old five-cylinder unit used in the original Quattro rally car and it sounds awesome. Now getting back to the subject of Perf economy, the TTRS will go from 0 to 60 in four and a half seconds and is limited to a top speed of 155 miles an hour or you can pay Audi a whole load more money, they'll take the limiter off and you'll end up doing 174. And that kind of performance is mingling with Italian supercars, but there's a difference. You see, Audi say it'll return a combined cycle of 30 miles to the gallon. So while you'll keep up with the big boys off the lights, you'll pass them when they all pull into the petrol station to fill up. As with all things Audi, it doesn't disappoint in the handling department, it obviously has the famous Quattro drive system. But more than that, it fills you with confidence. It's direct, it's sharp, and most importantly, that's what a good sports car is all about. And to make the car handle even better, the new TTRS can be fitted with Audi's magnetic damping, which further improves the handling. But the good old options list is an expensive thing. Tick the box and it will add another £1,125 to the price of the car. The only bad thing I've got to say about it is this gearbox. It just feels a bit flimsy, it doesn't feel precise, it doesn't feel mechanical and well, that's exactly what you want in cars like these. It's a bit disappointing. It also has this RS4 style sport button which when pressed unleashes all hell. The throttle response sharpens up and a flap in the left exhaust pipe opens which makes it sound just that little bit more angry. Have a cheeky listen to this. It's nice inside too. The cabin is covered in leather and brushed aluminium which gives it a real feeling of quality. The seats are comfortable and if you want a more sporty feel you can spend an extra £1700 for the RS Recaro bucket seats. While on the outside, the car has massive front air intakes, big side sills and a large rear spoiler. Plus, at extra cost, the standard 18-inch alloy wheels can be binned and replaced with 20-inch ones. The new TTRS is brilliant. It looks and sounds great and its performance both in a straight line and on the twisty bits are class leading. And you're probably thinking it's going to cost the earth to buy one. And you'd be right. You see, the coupe version starts at 43 grand, whereas the Roadster, that one, is two grand more. Having said that, if I had that kind of cash to spend on a car, I'd probably consider walking down to an Audi showroom and placing an order. I mean, it's a baby R8.